just want to build on the thought around the statistics around companies that excel because of the diversity in the, co the company. The only way that that works is that when you bring in those diverse populations of folks that they bring them uni their unique self to work, right? If you, you have a diverse culture, you have a, di a diverse number of people in the organization, but they don't feel empowered to share their ideas or they feel like they need to conform to the greater group's ideas, that's where you lose the benefits of diversity. Um, and so one of the things that kind of is a challenge, right, you could have a diverse population in your organization, but we all have unconscious bias. I mean, it's a fact. Um, we all have had our own experiences. We've had our different upbringings, so there's biases that come along with that. And so really focusing on awareness and understanding what some of those biases are is key to continuing to make all of us more accepting and inclusive of the folks that we work with that have very different opinions, very different backgrounds, they're bringing different ideas, different roles, different skills. Um, it's the ability to understand your biases and make sure that that is not influencing things that you're doing as part of your job. So it, who are you hiring? Who are you promoting? Who are you putting in your leadership roles? That you're really keeping a, a, a close eye on making sure that some of the biases that you have are not influencing those decisions. When you walk into a Google office, it you feel like you've walked into an extremely diverse population of folks that work in the organization. Um, but that has been a journey for Google, right? Google was a Silicon Valley startup. And I think all of us have a stereotype in our minds of what startups look like in Silicon Valley. Um, and so as the company has grown to the size that we are, it's, we've been extremely intentional about the things that we do to support diversity, inclusion, and equity across all of our employee base. So it starts with each and every one of us. Um, this, is, this is a personal journey for everybody in the room. I mean, if you think about it today, what an opportunity for people that you don't know, that you're meeting for the first time, to get to know them, to get know, appreciate more about them. Um, I personally think that it also starts with our youth. Um, and really creating opportunities for the younger generation. And for me personally, that's women in technology and teaching girls at a young age that they too can go into science and technology and engineering opportunities and careers just like the boys that are sitting in the classrooms next to them. We have a real problem with the number of women that are entering the technology workforce because it's just not what they're taught. It's not what they're taught that's um, something that they can do or they're, they're even good at. Um, so being involved with things like mentoring, coding, women, uh, girls in coding, and things that get them started at a young age. Um, so it really, it's something that you gotta think about that you're passionate about and do something and get involved.